What's up everybody, I'm John, Ike's over there. We are Cars and Cameras and you are in store for an epic video today. We're gonna be doing some racing, some riding, some wrenching, some bending, which has already happened. Uh, we got a full house today. Ike and Kevin from Junk Junkyard Digs are working on the Trailmaster. We have the Redbeards Garage crew over here. They uh, drove out from Tennessee. Thanks for making it guys. Our buddy Charles came out. Uh, and we have the <laughs> the Grave Ninja was the first major uh, the I first major it. casualty. So yeah. what happened, dude? So I may have sent it a little too hard, more than I should have, and I bent the front shock thing, and uh, she kind of definitely has some camber to her. Yeah, and it's definitely towed in. So, but it looked really cool. Yeah, I still haven't watched the footage, so I have no <laughs> idea how how much air I got, but. What I'm thinking about doing is, um, because it's just this that's bent. Instead of taking all this stuff off, what if we just cut it, bend it back, weld it, and weld a plate? Sure. Do you have any uh, quarter inch little thin strips? Oh, flat bar? Flat bar? Probably, let me look. This is going to be an epic race. So we're starting, uh, the first race is gonna be on our mega track. It's over half a mile long, and it's just kind of a free for all. I'm gonna be on a mini bike, Charles on mini bikes, everyone else is on go-karts. We're doing 10 laps, or last man standing, because we've had so many reliability issues so far. Uh, so yeah, we're all gonna gear up and hit it. We all line up for the first annual Backyard 300, 10 laps around the Cars and Cameras Mega Track. Ike from Team Cars and Cameras flags us to begin the race. The contestants are on all kinds of different vehicles, but it proves to be a very competitive race regardless. Ike starts out near the front of the pack, but has a hard time wrangling that three-wheeler around those corners. Greg from Team Redbeard's Garage starts out in first place on his powerful and reliable V-Twin Kawasaki buggy. Unfortunately, we didn't get Lonnie's onboard footage from the race, but he is riding a Silver Fox 225cc Tillotson-powered cart. Chris is making moves on his YZ85 powered shifter cart, but he's having a hard time getting around Greg. John finds himself in the lead after passing Kevin from Junkyard Digs on the Dingo. That MB200 Trailmaster is a heck of a bike. Charles from Team Cars and Cameras finds himself mid-pack, not knowing the track, and having no suspension on the back of his Coleman CT200 UEX. You can see Team Ratherby welding slowly clawing his way to the front of the pack. 
as John makes a huge mistake by waiting for the rest of the pack to come through, and then he gets passed by Charles and Kevin, with the rest of the field nipping at his heels. Oh, I think I got him here, though. Kevin is doing a heck of a job wheeling that Manco Dingo, which is beating him to death, but it just doesn't have the power like the ATC 200. Ah. Alright, no one needs to see that. No! Ah, come on, girl! Hold her together! Charles on Team Cars and Cameras takes a nasty spill on his Coleman, and he's out for the race. As well as Chris, who has a breakdown. <laughs> oh, my radiator fell off. As well as Greg, who loses his chain. Meanwhile, in the back of the course, Lonnie runs out of gas. Kevin is having a hard time, too, with the Manco Dingo running like garbage. Woo! Which leaves John Thanks, to cruise through the checkered flag I have no idea to take how many, the victory. Uh, laps that was. You do own the track? But yeah, okay. I do own the track. Someone needs to bring Lonnie some gas. Oh. So the final standings for the first annual Backyard 300 are myself, John, on the Trailmaster MB200 minibike in first place, Greg from Redbeard's Garage on his Kawasaki Buggy V-Twin uh, in second place, and Isaac, Team Cars and Cameras, in third place on his ATC200 Big Red Honda. Everyone else either broke down or ran out of gas, but I think everyone uh, had a blast. Next up is the jump segment, but first I have to tell you guys, we are doing a giveaway on our website, cars-cameras.com. We are giving away a Tillotson 212cc performance engine with a stage one performance kit from gopowersports.com. All you need to do is head over to our website, cars-cameras.com, and pick up an item of our merchandise. Uh, to kick things off, we just came out with a new hat and a new shirt. Send it, bend it, mend it. Trucker cap, super comfortable. It's my new daily driver hat as well as this uh, super, super comfortable pocket tee with a design on the front and a design on the back in a nice royal blue. So head over to our website, buy any item of merchandise and get entered to win this giveaway and help support uh, one of your favorite go-kart YouTube channels at the same time. All right, let's get over to the jump segment. In this segment of the show, we're gonna explore the new addition. I made this this morning, I call this the moon launch. Hey, we won't have to move dirt over here because I think you're just going to slowly level this all out. That was a little. <laughs> I think you can go again, buddy. That was close. <laughs> all right, Chris, are you going to hit it or no? With what? This. No, I mean, hit it easy. <laughs> I want to do the rock crawl first. Oh, yeah, let's oh, yeah. go do that. That Man, sounds fun. You did a spectacular job on that jump, dude. I try my best. It's we need a little... Better. Oh, I'm digging a hole. I, I told you, dude. I don't know if this is the rear or the front. Oh, I think it's, it's the front. I think it's the front. The front. So, yeah, this was the uh, Moon Launch V1. Needs a little work, but it's effective. The Cars and Camera Space Program is in full swing. That was pretty graceful. Mom, if you see this, I love you. Oh. <laughs> Sorry it ended like this. Never thought it'd be this way. Any last words, John? What a turd. Sorry. Uh, Is it out of gas? I think it knows what's about to happen. It just doesn't. There's no way. All right, can you take this back? I'll take the, uh, the cross yeah. cart. All right. Don't let her die.
Yeah. Yeah. Do yeah. we want to do some uh, rock crawl now? Okay, I need to go get something else. All right, we're going to meet up at the other entrance, right? Yep. We're moving on to our rock crawl, which starts right at our pass over the creek. And instead of going over it, we're going through the creek. Uh, I think mini bike is going to be the weapon of choice here because it's, it's decently rocky and then it's really steep at the exit. So we'll have some people standing down there to help in the event of flipping, I think. Who's first? Ike, you're lined up first. Okay. Do it. Hold my phone. Yep. So we're going one at a time for the rock crawl here. This is going to be good. Should we should we time these or not? Right. Just, nah. Let's see how Ike does. Yeah. And then if you can make it. Oh my! <laughs> what? Oh. Exactly how I I'm, I'll call the chiropractor. <laughs> that was Dude. Does it still work? <laughs> Are you okay? Can you still feel your legs? <laughs> it was a valiant effort. <laughs> My man. Did y'all see me stand there? Yeah, that was solid. With, Teamwork yeah. makes the dream work, dude. Within the length of the go-kart, you put it vertical. Yeah. All right, he's going to do the three-wheeler. I'm going for a uh, distance record. All right. Now he's showing off. Now that is going to get tricky. You going up that or around it? don't know where to get out so I'm just gonna keep going. I'm not sure this if he's going to be able to. This is not Kansas anymore. There's no nope. cornfields. The woods here are on another level. Well, the rear brakes don't work, so <laughs> you good? That's a rock. <laughs> that look like a turtle. It does. It does. It does I was like, like, oh, a turtle. turtle. Rock turtle. Oh. I thought that was a turtle. Is that a real turtle? Here comes Charles.
I need to get out of the way. Quite the angle there, sir. Yeah. We could maybe pull you out <laughs> three wheeler and keep the front end down. Yeah. That also does have low. This isn't gonna tip, is it? If, no, it's, no, it's, it's pretty, pretty solid. solid. Good. I probably couldn't even lift the front end though. <laughs> we got a oh, big here, try. There's, <laughs> this thing yeah. is so wow. front heavy, there's no way. Hey, don't grab the exhaust. Just do this. Oh. Oh. Which way are we going? Where are we going? That way. Alright, that'll do. Grabs, if you can't get that, you're fired. Yeah, you got it. I think that wraps it up for the for the what do we call this thing? The rock crawl. You still gotta go. What are you talking about? No, I'm good. Dude. Nah, you gotta I'm go. I'm pretty sure I went, Kevin. Oh my god, that wheel. That concludes the rock crawl portion of our event. What is next? Dock making 101. It's that splat. <laughs> where's I did, that, I did see where's that piece of plywood? This is the perfect oh, ramp. I, I, I can see that two by four. Yeah, that's kind of We're flexing testing this it. way. <laughs> what? No. Body slamming. Oh thing? my. Oh, oh. <laughs> let me get off of this. <laughs> What's going on out there in the abyss? <laughs> What's moving down there? See it? I can look at it. As John gets on by the hook. I just don't, hope we'll get I out there. You want me to grab your shoes? Push That's all right. So I don't think we can both do this, man. No, we can both do this, man. Yeah. Later. It's like it's just like yeah. Italy. Dude, this pond stinks. Yeah, it's nasty. Yeah. There's six inches of Wait, so I, I, this is probably a dumb question, but you guys are going to get out there. How are you going to tell how deep it is? Shovel. What if it's deeper if it's than the deeper than the shovel, shovel? Then I have some ass. Okay. It's good to brown and sticky. Probably a stick. <laughs> Probably just stick. <laughs> Are you hitting? Shove no. it off. Just shove it off. Oh, Don't drop it. Did you tell guys want some soap on a rope? <laughs> Check it that way. Oh, he's going in from. Don't behind. get the floaty he's wet. Like, yeah. <laughs> he's going in circles, son. <laughs> Hey, that's that. That stick's getting closer behind yeah. you. Oh, we're headed right for a log. I wouldn't know what that is up there. Someone else want to give this one a shot? Nah. I'll do it. Yeah. Chris. Oh. You good? I can scoot yeah. forward. Oh, you guys are doing yeah, it the the extra Ready? sketchy no balance way. Push. Farewell. Oh God. Oh, Farewell. Ah. Oh. Oh. So this is Chris the Tree. Um, hope you guys like the new channel uh, mix up here. Which is weird. That's water. That, that would hold fish really well with all the algae you think it would. Uh, Wanna get off the phone, son? We're family. <laughs> this is family time. Family time. <laughs> Not like the ocean. Welcome ashore. Thank you. It's getting late in the day. The Redbeard guys have, are kind of loading up over there, but we have one more challenge. We are gonna do our Top Gear style leaderboard with 
everybody else. So we're gonna go from heaviest to lightest because the dingo seems to lose power over time. So that should actually it'll even it out, right? Be probably spot on. Absolutely. So Kevin's going first, uh, and then I imagine Ike, then Lonnie. Sorry, dude, no offense. And then Probably Chris and then me? All right, Kevin, are you ready? I am. We got a start line? Uh, right about here. It's good. Central area? Yep. Are you ready? Yep. On your mark. Get set. Go. Come on, baby. Here comes Kevin. Yeah. Three, two, one. Congratulations, sir. I felt pretty good about that one. Well done. Lonnie, you're up, boss. Go. Get set. Go. Cut in real hard yeah. on that turn. That was that good driving. Line. Good driving. Oh, wheel, dude. Yeah. So, uh, how did you feel? Oh, my tailbone hurts. <laughs> All right, Chris. On your mark. Get set. Go. Across the line. All right, I'm up. Mark, get set, go. I haven't come off the throttle yet. Ooh. Water crossing, here we go. Beams. Ah, ah. That's fast. That's pretty good. On your mark. Get set. Go. Nice. What'd you think of it? It's actually pretty fun. Yeah. That's what counts. Dude, I was hearing clank, 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 and we were all looking at each other like, what is that well, sound? Uh, I didn't actually have to turn off the brake because I never used it. <laughs> that's, that's but, oh, we're good. Bolts. All right, everyone's had their chance to go. We're going to go total up our times and add them to the leaderboard. I'm going to have the most numbers. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that was awesome. So we're going from slowest to fastest on the Cars and Cameras Grand Prix. We all took the dingo. Starting with the slowest. Let's see. Redbeard's Garage, Braxton. Hey! Yeah. yeah I mean, uh, unfamiliar cart, unfamiliar track. You only got one go. It's all good. So that was a 114.81, uh, which puts it right behind our Monster Moto 228 in a very wet lap, which is kind of surprising. Yeah. Second slowest was, or second to least fast. That sounds better, right? Second to least fast. Chris, <laughs> rather be welding on the dingo with a 112.52. Same deal. Uh, well, at least I'm not the slowest. Unfamiliar territory here. Uh -huh. uh, let's see. Next, we have a whole lot of 109s. It was real close. 
Um, Junkyard Digs Kevin. Ooh. With a 109.89, which uh, beats our previous uh, lap record on the dingo, period. Believe it or not. It was a wet lap, though. Oh, oh okay. Mm -hmm. There it is. Next up, we have Charles on the dingo with a 109.38. Nice. Yeah, that's close. So in third place, we have Lonnie, Redbeard's Garage, with a 109.32. So you beat Charles by... 0.06. So <laughs> you guys can run them so, again if yeah. you want. <laughs> no, no, it was, it was good. And uh, not really surprising here, just because it's our track and our go kart. Ike with a 108.61, putting it right there. And then myself, because I weigh about 105 pounds, right there, it's the second fastest vehicle behind the cross cart. Oh, man. The dingo. Ooh. The dingo just. Surprises. Yeah. Anyway, I had a lot of fun, guys. I got to say thank you for coming out. You know, we'll have to do this again at your guys' place soon yeah. and in Iowa sometime. Yes. Power tour. Right as the sun was going down, Chris volunteered the Grave Ninja 650 to go around our Grand Prix to see where it would land on our leaderboard. So, um, yeah, the following footage is just raw footage straight out of the camera uh, from our hot laps. We actually broke our track record with that vehicle. But that being said, we did uh, concrete the river crossing over there, so the track is a couple seconds faster. But as of right now, Chris's Grave Ninja 650 holds the Cars and Cameras Grand Prix track record. So congratulations to him for shout that. Out. But huge shout out and thank you to everyone who made it out. The Redbeards Garage guys, Greg, Lonnie, Becca, Braxton, uh, Kevin from Junkyard Digs, our buddy Charles, uh, Chris from Rather Be Welding. Uh, it was just a good old time. Can't wait to do it again. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe. Um, Facebook, Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Don't forget to enter our giveaway at our website, cars-cameras.com. Thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you next time. All right, Ike is going to take the Ninja on the Grand Prix. See how we do on the Grand Drag Strip. Yeah. <laughs> 10494. Alright, so Ike ran a 104.94. Kevin ran a 104.74. Hey. It's a lot of horsepower. <laughs>